Hello, this is Pixie doing another video. Um, <clears throat> just like to show off my little things. So we got my. There we go. That's my um, bald plants, and they've actually. Um, I've only had to water them once. Well, not even that. When I mixed the soil up, I added um, water and made sure it's kind of the right consistency. Um, they are getting a bit uh, dry at the top. The root structure is quite quite far down now. Um, so it's right down here. There's little bits there you might see. So that's um, that's good. Um, now what have I got here? Let me have a look. It's one of these um, Oculus experiments I've done. Was it Oculus? I can't remember. Um, so yeah, so I've injected. Um, some, some of my DNA into here, and I've sealed it with um, hot wax. And in here is a mixture of water and hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide, as you can see, generates a lot of um, air bubbles. So basically, it's and you can see even closer up on it. So, so basically it's covered with loads of air, um, so it keeps it sterile, and it gives it plenty of oxygen, so at least something might happen. And um, I haven't got it now, but yeah, basically, just do the old syringe job, just, just suck it up. But um, I put a slight, I used a slight, uh, made a slight hole in the top, just enough to break through the shell. And then I injected it into the actual liquid, um, or its embryonic fluid, fluid and uh, see what happened. Um, similar experiment here. This is an African um, dream vine or something like that. It hasn't really done anything. I tried to um, find a way to um, basically cause it to germinate. <laughs> it didn't really do anything for me. So what I've done is I've also injected um, some DNA into it <laughs> and um, even weirder <laughs> there's a there's a small cactus um, at the top uh, see him now it's called called crazy I injected it it with some um, special juice as well <laughs> So who knows what will happen? Either it kill it, cause it to mutate, or it just develop as it normally would. This thing, well, it's either going to happen or it's not. If it's not going to happen, then I might just turn it into a piece of art. Um, you see my lady there. She's got a lovely piece of um, organ, and I've put some more decoration on her. She looks, looks quite happy today, actually. I also adjusted a hat. I might shove um, some extra crystals on there, and um, so that's all there. And this this chap here, this is just um, just my. Um, let's have a look. As you can see, it's green at the end. It's regenerated it, but it was a bit too strong, so it's ended up. So I had to take layers off the off the um, seed off. There's roots and all sorts of odd things popping out of it, so I'm just gonna. So what I did is um, I poured about most of it down away of the because um, it was a mixture of um, uh, hydrogen peroxide and water. So I poured most of it down, most of it away, as I say, and then I refilled it with some clean water. And I'm just gonna sort of keep doing this cycle, and then uh, every so often, if it looks like it gets a bit manky, I just chuck a bit of. Um, um, hydrogen peroxide and I just clean it up. So that's that's the main thing. Um, and I've included in here. Let's take you over. It's got some crystals in there as well. And it's got a bit of copper, copper wire. But you can see that's quite an interesting. 
because initially if it gets any bacteria in it, it's gone. But with that it can at least last a bit longer. Um, and it, yes, this this was this was clear. As you can see it's gone a bit it's got strange, who knows what's gonna happen in there. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. Um, I think it's fairly secure in an egg because the egg isn't broken. It's when I broke the egg you want to be in darkness or some rouse. I may just leave it in the egg and just see what happens, see if it actually cracks open eventually or, or what happens to it. It's been an interesting experiment. And these chaps are starting to move. They're already moving around because um, they want the light, the light of light above me. So I'll get them back out there, back out near the window. And I'll probably give them, um, use this and just just um, give some water in it because you've got to be a little bit extra careful when it comes to the soil. Um, if you put too much water in there, it just give it root rot. And it might be more difficult to get these out now they're getting bigger. I mean, the only way to get out maybe have to smash it, smash it to get it out. Possibly if it grows, if it, it's moving. It's moving. No, it says no. Okay, we're going to keep you in there, yeah. Yeah, because it's adjusting to the light. Um, it's quite quite clever the way these um, plants can react. So I'll just show you this as well. This is um, this is a black crow almost. I'm just um, drying it out. And this is my uh, pink dragon, um, which is like Himalayan salts and other things in it. Um, yeah, and finally I've got some garden projects I'm working on. So um, I just shoved these canes that stop um, pigeons and stuff flying in that. Uh, when they grow a bit bigger, I'll, get them, I'll strap them up a bit. They might start leaning against them anyway, but at the moment we're having a party. These two over here are quite unusual. Um, yeah, because I've moved them around, they've moved back to each other. They seem to want to lock and be winding into each other. So they've got what you call like a partnership type um, relationship. The um, plant has. So, so they're my um, peyotes. Um, they're quite happy. The sand wasn't good. Don't use um, play pit sand. It hates it. Um, I've had to repot some of them. And they, they're quite happy now, these ones here. This, this chap was all over the place, so I stuck him in um, solitary confinement. <laughs> um, just to stop him growing out of control, because he was just leaning over. And the problem is with the uh, roots, is they kind of form an L shape. They form a kind of, um, like a hook shape. And so they're not very supportive, um, keeping themselves in there. So they can be knocked over, either sort of sideways, and like that. Here's some other ones. I decided to put them in a more narrow pot would be better because if I used to water them, I could water them with less water, there's less room for bacteria and other things. So given a, a short of a smaller pot would be much better for them. Um, so these ones look like they're doing a lot better. So that's, um, this should be like a, a prickly lettuce or something like that, wild one. And here, this thing is a bit of a mystery. It's either uh, Datora, or it's um, goji. It's a goji berry plant. Which is a little bit of a mystery. And these ones are supposedly to, um, this little chap here, Datora. But he might not be. He might have ended up putting some other seeds. I'm sure it is. Let me have a look. This end of some just in the early stages. Popping up is quite cute. So they all look um, fairly much the same. Some distinctions with the leaves. But you just have to wait and see, really. And finally, this is my nursery. So there's something, something there, that white dot. A few things just pop up randomly. Because not all the seeds germinate, but I just recycle the soil. And that way, if once a plant pops up, I can take it, repot it, and it gives more chance for the seeds to actually germinate. So there we go. And there we go, and, that's, and there's um, that's a bit of all gone. <laughs> Don't want to drop it in there. 
Anyway, this is PC sign off and have a good one.